，要慢慢的不用买啊，哎，要小心啊。All right, guys. Well, good morning from Padia. Welcome back to Backpack with Banger. We're starting the day off with total chaos right now. We're all trying to get on this boat to go over to Colon. It's an absolute matter. You got so many people here, shoulder to shoulder, and we're trying to get on this boat. Okay, we made it on the boat. And I think that's going to be the hardest part of the day right there. Absolute chaos. I guess this is what you get for 30 baht. Next time I'll probably just do a speedboat. Alright, you gotta wear a life jacket on this boat. Looks like seating's already full back here. Just gotta find somewhere to sit down. Oh my god. This way you get in Thailand, I guess. I'm gonna go downstairs, see if I can find some seating down there. It's getting fully booked real quick. Oh my god, this is crazy. Safety first in Thailand. Safety first. Or safety last, one or one the other. If I can get this thing on one handed. It's always 10 times harder trying to film and do stuff, so. If I'm ever not filming, that's why. Alright, how do I look? Pretty good? Alright. Let's do this. Well, we're officially in a code line. That was a 45 minute boat ride. Some uh, pretty big waves out here today. I saw some four foot swells. And might be breezier than normal. Just adding to the adventure today. Cup and cup, cup on. All right. We made it. There's our boat we were just on. Look at this. A lot of people coming off this. 85 cents for this boat ride. Let's go see what this island has to explore. Well, now that it's not so chaotic, welcome to the island of Koh Lan. We're gonna explore this island today. We're gonna, I'm gonna share with you guys what I spend today on this adventurous day. I'm, I'm guessing I'll spend maybe $20 or so. In this area, you got a bunch of motorbike rentals right here at this port. Some food, kap and kap. A lot of bikes, there's got to be 300 motorbikes sitting here. Activity booth, fun stuff, toilet, cup and cup. 200 baht? Can you do, can you do 150? Yeah. Okay, let's do 200. Okay, 200? Yeah. What do you need from me? Do you need a passport? I don't have. ID card, you have? Every license? I think so. Yeah, okay. Do they have petrol? Food, free. Four? Free. I come back. I need to keep. I need to fill it up. No, no, no. I can bring it back empty. Yeah. No way. No, no, no. You don't no buy. Way. You don't buy. Yeah. So, but I know, but it's full right now. It's full. 
food now. Full tank. Okay. I, I bring it back later, full? No food, no food, no buy. You just buy. Really? Yeah, okay. Gas yeah. included? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Gas included. Okay. You sure? Yeah, wait, look, this, you, is, this is too you good you to be true. Huh? This is too good to be true. You, YouTuber, huh? Uh, just a little Ninoy. Okay. Can you my? How about the cup and cup? Which bike do we want In here? One. You can one. What do you want? Huh. So buy liter and I give you one. Okay, so in order to run a motorbike, you gotta leave your ID with them. That's kind of the kind of the part that's uh, hard hard to do, but they got to uh, make sure they're they're protected. Okay, hello. And two hundred baht. Two hundred baht, my friend. Two hundred baht. Yeah, meter. Yeah, two hundred baht. Two hundred baht. That's it. About five dollars <laughs> and fifty cents. Okay. For a day day rental. Okay. And we have phone number here too somewhere. Which bike is the best? No, like I give you a new bike. Like yeah. The white one. You have you have you used bike? Used? I don't like I don't like the new. They get scratched oh, too easy. I like getting the used bikes. They already have scratches and shit on them. That way, if you bring them back, they have one little. One little scratch. What do you like? Uh, let's see what we got here. Black one? Uh, let's do black. Okay, black. Perfect. Alright, here's our bike for the day. Yeah, my friend. Let's see how much gas is in it. Look at that, full. Look at that, yeah! I can bring it back empty? You don't buy. I buy for you already. Really? Yeah. I, I bring it back. No, no more no, pay? No, 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 no. For pay. gasoline? Yeah. Really? Really? Oh. <laughs> what? Never heard that before. Oh, really? Okay. All good? No, no, no helmet required here? No, no police for you. No police. We're on the yeah. island. That's the way I, I like it. it. No problem. No problem? Yeah. Okay. Phone number here. Your, your name? Mu. Mu. Okay, now I gotta figure out where to go. <laughs> you can go anyway. I might go this way. Okay. Google map. Got a little phone holder here. Cool. All right. Well, I'm gonna look at my phone on the map, and uh, we're gonna start this journey. So far, so good. We drive on the left side of the road here, right? Left side. Easy. Easy, no problem. All right. Oh, if this doesn't put a smile on your face, I don't know what will. Woohoo! Back on the bike. We got 7 Eleven, butt bus. We gotta get through this traffic, and then we'll get to some beautiful areas. This is a very, very small island, so. We'll, uh, we'll get around it, take our time today. Look at this street food, Saudi cop. We'll get some food together in a little bit. When I get a little more hungry. And we're just going aimlessly right now at this point, wherever the motorbike, motorbike takes us at this point. Here's a pizza place. Little uh, market here. Let's go this way. Fresh fruit. It's like a temple. You gotta remember to drive on the left side of the road here. Very, very important. Otherwise, you're gonna get into an accident. Unbelievable. Here we go. I'm gonna shut the uh, GoPro off for a minute and Enjoy this ride for a minute. We'll see you guys in a sec. So let's take a look at the map here. I arrived right here at Na Naban Pier. Rented motorbike. And I've already gone all the way down here to Newall Beach. That only took about maybe 10 minutes. So we're gonna explore different areas of the island today and take our time so 
First up, this beautiful beach. Let's take a look at this beach before we get some food. Look at how beautiful this is. Paradise, here's a little swing. I'm sure this would be a good spot for pictures. Here you go. First island in Thailand. Got a bunch of seats over here you can rent out. Some floaties. Sorry, cup. Couldn't say bye my. Sorry, cup. You have a cook and me menu. 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 Cup and cup. Okay. Cup and cup. Mm. Oh, here we go. So we got, this looks good. You got pork, chicken, fried rice. I think maybe I'll do that. Let's do chicken, chicken, chicken fried rice. Yeah. Small. Okay. Please. And maybe you have fruit shake. Fruit shakes are right here. You, you have a favorite? Huh? You have fa favorite fruit shake? Shake? Yeah. Do you eat like your favorite? Number Hello. number one? Hmm? This is a good one? One. Uh, let's do... How about... Uh, we'll do... Orange. Orange. One. Okay. So I just ordered some uh, orange shake and some rice and chicken. Maybe about four bucks or so. So for $5.70 after tip, you're looking at this beautiful plate of rice and chicken, vegetables, lime, and a fresh orange shake here. Right on the ocean through these umbrellas. Okay, let's give this a go. Mmm, so good. Mm. A little spicy sauce here. A little bit goes a long way. You don't want to overdo it or your mouth's going to be on fire. Just a little bit. There we go. A little soy sauce. I'm going to squeeze a little lime on here. There we go. Mmm. Oh, so good. Mmm. I could eat this every day. Meal complete. It looked pretty inviting to go down to the beach and rent a chair for $2.80, but I'm in the mood to go exploring, so let's head on out to the next spot here. Just motorbiked my way up here to the top of this mountain. You can see a good overview of where I started out. Over here in Padilla City. Took an 85 cent boat ride over there. And then motorbike down here. Had some food. Hung out on the beach. And then motorbiked up here this viewpoint. It's a good, good view from up here some beautiful flowers very warm hot day today it's about 88 degrees right now probably gonna get a good uh, sunburn today but that's all right i need some good vitamin d in my life that's for sure there's a lot of other little islands around the area too. I can see one, two, three, four, four others right here. You can take another boat to that island over here. And in a few minutes, I'm going to motorbike down here. This is apparently a popular destination beach area. You can get hotels. I saw nice, nice hotels for 20 to $30 right down here in this little cove i'm gonna 
go check out maybe do some camping one night but you can see just about the entire island from this viewpoint here that i'm showing you we'll walk down a little further it'd be cool if there was a road that went up on this ridge here but i don't think there is here you go here's a nice view So I had to tell you guys, this feels absolutely insane to be able to rent a motorbike and explore this island for $5.40, or $5.60, excuse me, and not even have to pay for gas. This just, this just feels unreal. I can't even believe this is even happening. It feels like I'm traveling for free sometimes. Like it doesn't even cost me any money to travel to be able to explore today by this motorbike and not even pay for gas. I mean, where, where in the world do you get, get to have this much fun and explore like the way that I do here? And this is just absolutely insane that a place like this even exists in, in the world today. Crazy, man. I just had to tell you that while I was cruising around on this bike. All right, we're, go we're continuing. Another thing I love about Thailand and generally in all of Southeast Asia, everything's more rustic out here on the island life. Uh, you got some dirt roads here. They're working on the pathway, but I love, I love it. it makes for more of an adventure. Everything's not all nicey nice and perfect, which I don't need and I don't, I don't like. I like the, uh, the rustic island life. It's awesome. You do do whatever you want. Everyone just takes care of themselves out here. Look at this. Freedom. This is what this is called. Absolute freedom. Less regulated, less problems. This is my kind of life out here. Look, there's some food this guy's bringing out. Simple life, happy life. Saudi cup! Kuntsabadi mai! We got some new friends here! How are you? Kuntsabadi mai! Kapum kap! Kapum kap! Kapum! 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 What are you doing today? What are you doing? You have something here like a pen. Oh! Is that real? Real tattoo? Let's see, can I see? Nice, that's cool. That's awesome. I think it's a fake tattoo. They got a lot of those henna tattoos here. Doing good, bro? Right on, right on. So my new little friend here, he's five years old and he's already being taught how to work and take care of the motorbikes and parking. They start him out young here, working to help out the family. Good, good kids around here. They got good work ethic around here, Southeast Asia. Yeah, you're working hard today, buddy. Right on. <laughs> okay. Okay, so my new little buddy here and I, we're gonna find some ice cream. I just found a little ice cream shop somewhere on a little cart, but we're gonna go find some ice cream. What do you think, you want some ice cream? Okay, we got to search for some ice cream here. It's got to be some nearby. All right, looks like we found a little ice cream cart. I'm gonna buy buy my little buddy some ice cream here. Yeah. Oh, and there's a pig too. Oh my gosh, we're in for a treat right here. We got pigs and ice cream. Hi, buddy. Say hi, buddy. He wants some ice cream too. Looks like. Sawadee kap. Kunsabadi mai. Kap. Sawadee kap. We do nung for my my friend. Nung, what's your what's your favorite, buddy? What what you like? Roy mak mak. Which one your favorite? Uh, watermelon. 
Oke, okay, let's do it. Nong, please. Kap and kap. And for me, I should probably get one too. It's pretty hot out. I would like... Maybe I'll get the same one. Yeah. Let's do... Nong. Same, same. Kap and kap. Look at that. Okay, buddy. We're gonna have an ice cream party here. Right on the beach of Thailand. Here's get some money out here. Twenty forty baht. Kap kun kap. Kap kun kap. That's for uh, Chan. Yeah. You're awesome. You got you get one? Which one? You want that one? Okay, I'll take this one, buddy. Perfect. Oh. Nothing beats a nice little watermelon popsicle here. Hmm. Garbage? Look at that, he's so good. This, this kid's so cool. Garbage in here. All right. Where where'd the pig go? Where's the pig? Swimming. Maybe the pig is swimming now. Who knows where that pig went? It's so it's such a big pig, I don't know. Oh, there he is. Let's go see the piggy. Never a dull moment out here traveling. I promise you. Look at the piggy. Okay, you're eating something. Looking for some uh, vegetables of some sort. Here you got some fresh seafood, some crab. They got a full extensive menu. It's like a book, the, the menus here in Thailand. Literally like page after page after page. There's got to be... 20 pages in this thing all sorts of great food from fish to whatever you want they got it lots of good seafood okay let's check out the map we started here, went down here, went up to the viewpoint, and now, right now, right here. So we still gotta explore here and around, yep. And then we'll go up to this beach, and then up to this point. So we're doing good so far. Lots of beautiful areas. So I wanna tell you guys a couple things about my style of traveling. I think it's a lot different than majority of people traveling. I love to hang out with the locals. Uh, what I spent the last six months in America, I don't even think I hung out with a with a kid just to hang out. And no, it's just different over here. You can just hang out with kids. It's not normal. You know, the parents are out working or doing something. It's just cool being able to hang out with kids for a change. And in America, I just feel so so awkward and weird I don't I don't know why it's become that way but I love just hanging out with the locals and chatting with them I've noticed a lot of a lot of the trucks have been shuttling people in to this beach over here or motorbiking people in and they get off the transportation and go straight down to a to the beach to a lounge chair which is cool especially you know people are traveling with other people you're kind of obligated to just kind of be with that one person or that group of people just to go down and rent a seat on the beach and just sit there for a few hours but since i got here to this beach uh, the past 30 minutes i've just been hanging out with the locals i met some people who are here working from cambodia so we have that in common since i was in cambodia for a month such a special country so it's cool just to travel by myself to be able to hang out with the locals uh, usually when I find myself traveling with somebody else, I'm just not really communicating or uh, getting myself involved with the locals as much. I just 
feel like I'm just traveling that with that one other person and just just uh, experiencing being with with the uh, the group of people I'm with so that's why I love traveling alone so much I can just go at my own pace talk to whoever I want buy ice cream for whoever I want hang out with cool cool kids and cool people so traveling alone I found is so much more enjoyable to actually indulge yourself in the culture and actually communicate and share some smiles with the locals here that's uh that's my entertainment and that's why I love to travel just wanted to throw that out there for you guys and also regarding to talking to kids here in Thailand in, in America I would never just pull up to a, a beach on a motorbike and start chatting with a kid and buying him ice cream that the parents would probably think I'm some sort of weirdo or psycho and that's why I love I love the life over here Vroom vroom! In America, in my opinion, it's got so overwhelming. The, the mindset over here is just complete peace and freedom and there's no, uh, no weird mindset here. One's just super cool and happy and happy, happy to be alive and happy to be near the beach. It's a whole, whole different lifestyle. I can't, I can't recommend it enough. All right, enough serious talk. I'll bring you guys out to the beach here. I'll show you guys this beautiful white sand beach before I go to the next one. Looks like this island's been pretty chill so far. Just uh, some beaches and restaurants. Do some good swimming. I should go swimming soon. Maybe at the next beach I will. Look at this watercolor is unbelievable. Just got probably about 500 chairs around here. Some boats out there. Yeah, I'll definitely have to get in this water here soon. So I decided this beach is too nice not to just sit down and get some sun, go for a swim. So I just rented this chair for $2.80 for the day, which I can use it for however long I'd like. I'm gonna sit here, get some vitamin D for a little bit, go for a swim in this nice water. It's about 80 degrees. And this is my day. I love it. Traveling does not have to be expensive. You can come out to these tropical destinations. Back in the day, I always thought coming to these tropical exotic places with white sand beaches would cost me a fortune. Thousands and thousands of dollars. But here I am laying on this beautiful chair with this view in the ocean come on out to these exotic locations in southeast asia thailand philippines cambodia malaysia it's the uh, the best bang for your buck in the entire world it's one of the cheapest destinations in the entire world for what you get here in thailand it's a no-brainer coming out here so if you feel like rethinking your life, save up a few dollars and come on out here and you can live uh, live like they say, like a king. So, the choice is yours. We're back on the bike. I figure we gotta get our money's worth today in gas. If gas is included, it may as well burn it. So, we're exploring. If you would have asked me five years ago if I'd be riding one of these motorbikes, I was uh, scared shitless to be honest. I uh, never imagined myself riding one of these things. I thought they were too dangerous. But nowadays I can't seem to not be on one. It's the ultimate way to travel and explore. Sorry, cop. Can somebody mind? <laughs> We're gonna take it at a nice viewpoint over here. I, th I think there's one. Here's another way you can get around the island with one of these bot buses here. Easy to jump on and off, but having the motorbike makes it all the more fun, more convenient. Let's check out this uh, viewpoint for you. 
check this out. Welcome to paradise. Wow. I'm gonna go look at a hotel down here in a little bit. You can like camp. It's like a nice little uh, camping area. For, like $20 I saw down here. Might be worth staying a night and wake up to this view. Pretty cool. I made it down here to the beach. Looks like there's a lot more happening down here. This is my style right over here. You got everything you could ever want or need for the beach time. Some restaurants. A little breezy out here today. Got some sandals, beach balls, fruit, street food, motorbikes. Take a little ride here with you. Show you guys down on this beach road. There's a boat, they're about to head out. Uh, 10 minutes. Trying to find the hotels I saw online. Might be this one right here. Might have to Google it. It was like camping or something. Yeah, I saw it. You're looking at 30 bucks a night, roughly, right on the beach. I could definitely stay here for a couple nights. This is a pretty cool area. Definitely relax here. It's all you need. I wonder how the nightlife is. We'll have to check it out someday. I just found my favorite part of the island. I'm gonna take you for a little stroll through this area. You can ride your motorbike right on this little walkway here, right along the beach. This is so fun. Sorry, cop. It's crazy, man. Super mellow here. Can't believe there's not a million people here. We got nice restaurants. Look at that, fine dining. But they got some awesome food. I do things pretty cheap cheap. So I don't really go to nice restaurants very often. I'm usually a street food kind of guy. This is such a cool ambiance here. You can only imagine at nighttime what this is like. One of my favorite things to do in life, ride a motorbike right next to the water. Absolute freedom. Have I said that word today? Freedom. Well, I'm gonna say it again. Freedom, freedom, freedom. And I don't have to worry about getting a ticket for anything here. No, no helmet needed. You don't need to use a blinker. You don't need to do much of anything. Okay, my friends, I found the uh, little camping area that I've been looking for. It's uh, $27 a night. Look at how pretty this area is. I don't think there's any air conditioning here, but this looks like a prime example of what you get here. Wow, very nice. Look at this. This could be all mine in three nights from now. I might be back. Look at that, it's like a master bedroom. Sleep three people here. That is very, very nice. And you got this view. You can sit up here and drink and eat. Wow, it'd be nice to have one of these right, right on the water overlooking. Looks like this one's available. Nobody's in that one. This would be very nice to wake up to every day, or at least for one day. Yeah, this is definitely uh, my favorite part of the island so far. These are very, very cute places to stay. Look, nobody here. This is nice. Oh, that might be 
What is that? Air conditioning unit? Wow. And you get bottles of water, two cups. Huh. Wow. This is awesome. I could definitely stay here. I'm glad I came to check it out. Yeah, I've never seen a little air conditioning unit like this before. Huh. Could you imagine that? You got towels down there. Very, very nice. I like this a lot. It's got to be 25 of these or so. Huh. Unbelievable. So I just talked to the sweet girl working at the front desk and saw the price for one night. It was something was like $56. But if you book it on a Goda, like she even told me you can book it on a Goda for like $27. So that's uh, that's the benefit using a Goda or booking.com to shop around. I'm surprised it was that much cheaper. Normally it's just a few dollars cheaper, but in this case it's like half the price through a Goda. Nice area. Get a massage here. It's like a mini mini mall sorta. Of. You got a cafe and another nice little area here. It's called Sugar Sea Bakery. Very nice facilities. So in Thailand they got this weird law that I've never understood. You're not allowed to buy alcohol from the stores at certain times during the day. Like right now it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon and they won't sell you alcohol until 5 o'clock uh, p.m. So I'll just uh, drink some water for now. But yeah, they, they don't allow selling of alcohol at stores between, I think it starts at 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Super weird. I've never understood that, but that's what you get here. Well, we made it to our last and final beach of the day. Looks like it's a little less touristy here. Uh, one restaurant, no uh, beach chairs. Well, a few down there, but nothing like what we've seen earlier today. This is a good spot to relax for sure. I think what I've gathered from this uh, trip today is that this island is all about the beautiful beaches. Beaches, beaches, very beautiful beaches. We're gonna get back on the motorbike and get a boat back towards Pattaya because I am exhausted already from exploring. I haven't been exploring much and this is worn me out at this point made it back to where we started let's see how much fuel we used let's open this up and it's still about full no wonder why gas is included because it's such a small island you don't burn a lot and i probably burn more than most people driving to every single beach around this island so awesome day I'm gonna go grab my uh, ID and we'll be on our way. Kapun Kap. You come come see my friend when you're here on the island. Okay. Great see experience. You, Mr. Mu. Mr. Mu. Mr. Mu. Okay. Come see me here. This area. This is your phone yeah. number, right? Yeah, this is area. Okay. Perfect. Great experience, Kap and Kap. Kap and Kap. Good luck okay. to you, my friend. So gonna, oh, you know a cheap food I can get real quick? Uh, cheap food? Huh? Cheap, cheap food. Noodle? Noodle. Or uh, street, street food? Street food. What do I have? Okay. Yeah, I have. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay, Kap and Kap. Kap and Kap. Well, I'm going to show you what I ordered for a dollar forty for my second meal of the day. We got some stir-fried rice with pork lime cucumber and you also get soup as well dollar forty i love these little spots here i got a full menu so easy with pictures you can see the photos and you can just pick whatever you want i generally always get the cheapest thing on the menu because 
It's cheap and good and that's all I need. And I'm a budget backpacker, which I love it. All right, well, let's uh, try this out. Let's try the soup. Mm. Wow, very good flavor of soup. Got a good little spice to it as well. Let's give the rice a go. Mm. Yeah, that's all I need every day. That's all I need, perfect. All right, time to get filled up. And then onto the boat, back to Padilla. So I just calculated while I was eating my rice how much I spent today, including everything with my two meals, the orange shake, the ice creams that I bought for the kid and I, uh, the motorbike rental, the boat ride here and the boat ride back. All this fun for a whopping $16. So for that much fun and that much uh, adventure and beach time, swimming in the ocean, $16. There's no reason anyone else can't do that or do this. I'm gonna get on one of these boats and head back to Padia, about 45 minute ride. And that's about a wrap. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next Backpacking with Banger Adventure. Like and subscribe, love you all. Oh look, you can get some alcohol before getting on the boat. Look at this. All right, maybe I should get one of those. Mama, let's get on how, how much is Chang? 50 bucks? Okay, 50 bucks. Let's get a beer on the way home. Cup and cup. Cheers. Cheers to Thailand. Here we go.